the Divine Spirit guides the awakening of God's children. The Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are. And the Spirit will convince the world of sin, judgment and justice. So he who has faith and believes in God, in the only begotten Son of God, will live. Whoever does not believe in God will die. This is the Spirit given to all so that all may believe in Jesus, he who God has sent, to believe in his works, to believe in his words, to believe in him, the essence and substance of the Father, to believe in him who is alive, is person, believe in the Spirit of Truth who leads the children of God to contemplate the face of God, leads by the hand every child and those who aspire to know the truth, which will be revealed in its entirety. All those who are far from the truth are called in this time of mercy and justice to open their hearts to see in the signs the action of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. He who invokes the Holy Spirit will purify his heart and will approach the whole truth. Ask and it will be given to you. Knock and it will be opened to you. Ask the friendship of the Divine Spirit to live his brotherhood fully, so that those who ask with faith may approach his heart to contemplate the essence of God. From the New Jerusalem, the corner of paradise on earth, God pours out His Spirit, a living and eternal Spirit, a Spirit that here has again sanctioned His covenant, renewing and restoring the new covenant that the Father had made with the first Christians. From the land of love where the Spirit has placed His abode, His action begins, action of redemption of the children of God, the awakening of the children of God and infinite love for the only God, the only Lord, the only Savior. Now as then, God's works and signs will help so many to understand the truth, in order to welcome the mystery of God wanted by the Father in this blessed land. From the fruits the tree of God will be recognized. By her holy fruits the work of the Mother Church will be recognized. The Church that the Father in time and for time has wanted and established on this holy mountain has in the center of his city the tabernacle, where faithful children can worship God in spirit and truth so that the truth can be understood intimately and no one can be deceived any longer. On the holy mountain of God there is the image of the baby Jesus, sign of his goodness, sign of his fatherhood, sign of his invincibility. The world will see and recognize the imprint of the Father, because more and more the spirit of truth will infuse the hearts of sons with sapience and wisdom. And in his holy name again everything will be repeated, many will regain their sight, many will regain their hearing, Many will regain the vigor of life, because many hearts will be reinvigorated. Others will receive the reward of eternal life. Others, who have abused God's name, taking possession of what is His, will receive another reward, just and true. Struck will be the lie by the Spirit of Truth. Struck will be iniquity. Afflicted will be that house that has become a den of vipers, which within it preserves the heart of wickedness. And the Father will try those who have unconditionally placed their trust in the hands of iniquity. God's faithful children in this time will know how to be righteous and strong, to manifest the one church, the mystical body of Christ, which will never wane because it is eternal. The Spirit of the Father once again pours out upon His children in fullness so that the Comforter may lead Christians and all men and women of goodwill to practice righteousness, with sapience and wisdom so that every grace asked for in accordance with the will of the Father may be granted by the Father and obtained by the children. Strong, holy and true. This is what distinguishes the children of the Mother Church, animated by the Divine Spirit, sent by the Father to the land of love to make them understand the whole truth and let in many, more and more, in the heart of eternal fatherly goodness, to be true men and true Christians and to manifest themselves as livings of His name. God impresses upon His faithful children His seal of Father, Son and Holy Spirit so that all may be fulfilled. The hand of the Father is lowered more and more on this world to give strength and courage to those who fight for the truth, and to stop more and more those who want to fight against the truth, against Jesus, the Savior, the Almighty, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. His glory and power through the centuries. Amen.